So I kind of I kind of glossed over achievements in the Steam video because it's not quite as systemically enmeshed in the whole financial enriching metagame Steam has going on over there. Like with the trading cards, I mean, maybe at some point they'll let people put achievements on the market, but achievements are still an important aspect of Steam as another avenue to addict people. And I have an interesting little case study of the mentality behind Achievement Hunters. Recently, I removed all of my games from Steam, but, but previously, when my game Social Interaction Trainer was on there, it had an achievement in which you had to pay money to me in order to get instructions for how to unlock it. I mentioned this a bit in the marketing yes dev. And on top of that, it was structured in such a way to really scare people away from even attempting to get it. I had it so you would need to pay more money than the last person who bought the achievement, but I wouldn't tell you what the last person paid. So any achievement hunter would certainly have the fear that some other achiever got there first and jacked up the price already. So in total, only three people ever actually paid for the instructions. So after removing Social Interaction Trader and its achievements from Steam, I emailed them, asking them two questions. Firstly, did they want a refund? And secondly, what they thought about the whole auction achievement thing that they had participated in. And so the first person to have bought the achievement paid just over six USD. He gave his reasoning for buying it as participating in the controversy. So, you know, being part of the joke. And also that he enjoyed the game even before it was on Steam. And he's also a game developer, all of which contributed to him seeing the achievement sale as an opportunity to support a fellow dev. And he did not want a refund. So that is not an achievement hunter, but that's interesting. The second person to have bought the achievement paid just over 14 USD. Uh, his reasoning was more what you would be expecting. He wanted the rare achievement, so it should not be surprising he wanted a refund. But this auction idea is really interesting, TBH, he said, uh, which I take to mean that he's totally cool with buying achievements. If you're a competing achievement hunter on Steam, you already need to lay out tons of cash to buy all the achievement games, so it's probably not such a foreign concept that achievements are not just a prestige of skill, but also financial domination. The third person to have bought the achievement paid nearly 18 USD, and uh, like the previous person, he also wanted a refund, but his reasoning for buying it was a bit different. He admitted to me to having diagnosed OCD and said, uh, I get a strong sense of peace when Steam says 100% under an achievement list. So there we have three people who went as far as paying for an achievement and three different reasons for doing so. The first guy represents to me the best of what a dev could want, someone who gets what you're doing and supports you. Uh, the Achievement Hunter, meanwhile, represents to me the type of cynical competitive spending that Steam's whole system is intending to produce. And finally, the guy with uh, OCD represents the vulnerable population that are probably the biggest whales and most burnt by these cynical systems that Steam implements. They're trying to get the people who are competitive, but they're instead getting the people who are compulsive. And while their stated reasons fit these three different archetypes, I can't help thinking maybe the cynical achievement hunter is as much acting on compulsion as the OCD guy. There certainly has to be a massive overlap in the people who are buying games solely for achievements. My personal opinion on achievements is I, just, I never got them. And in the context of being tied to social networks like Steam, they're, they're clearly cancer. As a player, if you want more challenges, you come up with your own. I mean, that's what speedrunning is. You come up with your own goals to achieve. I think that's a lot healthier and more fulfilling 
than asking the developer for more and more and more validation, and certainly not what Steam is about when it introduces achievements, or really anywhere else that introduces achievements. It's about that prestige inequality 